it's a brand new year and the same old scams are still making the rounds. So hi, it's Bill Skolodowski from BillsIPhoneTips.com. Today, I thought we would uh, start off the new year by reviewing some of those old scams that are out there and make sure that you don't fall prey. Okay, I got three of them for you today. And then when we're done at the end, I've got some big news too. So stand by for that. So this one is, I'm not going to say it's new, but I'm starting to see it a little more and more out there, the scam that is. And that is the email that tells you you just bought something but maybe not. <laughs> All right, so here, look at this. Uh, this is uh, from one of my clients, and uh, the email says, you have successfully purchased Norton 360, deluxe blah, 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 blah. You were charged $349.99. Okay, please note that it may take as long as 48 hours to appear on your bank statement and will expire. Thank you for charging, blah, blah, blah. Now, you do have the option to call them and say, hey, wait a minute, um, I didn't purchase that. And that's when the scam begins. So don't call any of these people, okay? Just trash the email. Trust me, you'll be, you know, you'll sleep better that way. Now, by the way, I just wanted you to notice a couple of things on these emails. If you're in Gmail, you can always see at the top the from address. It's to you, and but who's it from? So this one says it's from the Norton Billing Team, and the email address is john6455saw at gmail.com. I'm thinking that Norton, a company that big, would probably have a norton.com address. All right, so that's, you know, that's like you know, suspicious number one. And then at the very bottom, the customer helpline phone number it might be a real phone number, but it's typed out wrong. 2119-627, is that even a number? I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Number two. Now this one, uh, sorry, it's small. I'll show you the attachment in a minute. This one came to me, okay? And it's from Bijou Gwyneth Composer, and the email is bijougwyneth2749 at gmail.com. Com? And when I open up that attachment, here's what it says. Again, same thing. Thanks for subscribing. Norton 360, same price, $349.99. Okay, automatically renewed. Now, that's clever. I mean, you know, okay, I get it. It's like your annual subscription has been automatically renewed. But then at the bottom, you'll notice it says, if you didn't authorize this charge, you have 24 hours to cancel and get a refund. Here's our phone number. Call us. Okay. Interesting, at least the phone number looks better and there's an address, Norton Support, Tempe, Arizona. I don't know if they're in Tempe, Arizona. I've, I've been there, but I don't know if they've ever, you know, if there's such a place or not. I'm guessing there's not. Again, you call the phone number, the scam begins, they're gonna try and take you. Now, by the way, just in case you were wondering, you know, I went over to our friend, Mr. Google, and just out of curiosity, typed in Norton Tech Phone Support and oh, by the way, they do list the phone number and there it is. It's 800, or excuse me, 888-681-1964. Okay, neither one of these numbers. <laughs> neither one of these numbers. Okay, uh, moving on. One more. And this one came again to me from Pamela Dolatowski at another bogus looking Gmail address respected user i feel so much better order number appreciation for your commitment to auto renewal your ongoing trust is highly valued important information is enclosed in the email for your convenience and another attachment and here's what that attachment looks like sorry again it's it's a little small but same thing thank you for choosing norton antivirus now these guys charged me 479 dollars and 15 cents where does that number come from i have no idea all right but again if you you know don't think that was right if you want to cancel your order there's another eight three three four nine three number to call down there and again it doesn't it has an underscore instead of a dash on it kind of weird isn't it all right emails you're gonna see them they're gonna try and tell you you bought something it's interesting they're not selling you something they're telling you you already bought it and you're gonna you know your hair's gonna go on fire because it's like why would i spend 479 dollars for this thing it's crazy it's 29 bucks at walmart 
that's the scam. They get you to call and then they're talking to you and then the trouble starts. Just trash these emails, okay? Just trash them. Now, speaking of calling, the next big thing to remember, and I've harped on this for years and years and years and I'm going to do it again, big tech companies are not calling you. Nobody from Microsoft, nobody from Google, nobody from Apple, nobody from any software company or hardware company or anybody, nobody's calling you to say, oh, we found a problem with your computer and we need to connect up or get it online or do something, okay? It's a scam, 100% every time, no questions asked. Now, you may have called them the first time to report a problem or to get tech support, of course, we're calling the cable company all the time, right? To get the internet fixed at home. I get it. They may have to call you back, okay? But out of the blue, nobody is calling you. Nobody. <laughs> I don't know how many more, how much more I can stress that, okay? Nobody's calling you. Please, just hang up. There's no sense in trying to talk sense to people. Just hang up. All right, and last but not least, Beware of emails with clickable links in them. Even if they're from friends or family or people you, you know or whatever, okay? And I said even the, uh, especially the very generic emails, and here's what I'm talking about. The way viruses and malware and other junk is spread online, okay? Say my computer gets a virus. Not that that would ever happen. My computer gets a virus. It looks at my contact list and it sends an email to everybody on my contacts that very generic, hey, hi, I found this great website or this funny picture or this great cat video or this whatever, you know, funny program to play or game to play or whatever. Just click here and then you click on it and guess what? Now your computer is infected and the system repeats itself. You, you Your computer starts sending email to everybody and everywhere and all of that. Just don't do it. Now, it's possible, of course, that a friend or family member could send you pictures of the vacation from Europe or whatever. I get it, okay? But I'm guessing that that's going to be a little more easily identified by what they say in the email. So I say these very generic emails, watch out for the ones that don't really say anything other than click here. And it's a clickable link, okay? Now, of course, you can always call your friend and say, hey, did you send me this email? But if it's a very generic looking sort of a thing, chances are the answer is no, they didn't send it to you. So again, just delete it. And I, I get asked this now and then, is it is it okay to read the email? I mean, like if I open up my Gmail inbox and there's that email from somebody I don't know with a message that says, click here, am I in trouble? No, you're not. Not until you click on that link. So if you see an email like that, don't panic, just delete it, <laughs> delete it and move on, go on with your day. You're all good. All right. So that's our big three, right? Okay. The, the fake invoices that you bought something, but you really didn't. The phone call from a major company somewhere that says you've got a problem and we're here to help. <laughs> and this last one, the clickable links in email messages from people you may or may not know. All right, there you go. Be careful out there. And here's some big news. iPhone Friday is coming back soon. Yay. I know a lot of people have said, where the heck have you been? Well, it's been a minute since I've done an iPhone Friday video, but that changes this week. So we're going back to those tutorials for folks that, and I, I, I don't really like using the senior citizen kind of a thing but that's kind of what it is. My background is in teaching adult education classes for people of my generation. And those folks appreciate, you know, the simple, maybe a little slower, a little more explanation kind of a video. And if you're one of those people, look for our video on Friday. And you can always visit us at billsiphonetips.com for more information about all of that sort of a thing. We're gonna, I'm gonna move I'm kind of rebuilding that website and I'm gonna move all the old videos over there. Some of them are a little outdated, but if I find them, I'll get rid of them and replace them with new ones. If you have questions or if there's something that you know, you'd know you love to learn about how to use your iPhone or your iPad, um, 
well, feel free to get in touch. The email address and the contact form and all that is at billsiphonetips.com. Thanks for joining me. Don't fall for any scams. We'll see you for iPhone Friday.